Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can create a Fabicon in Canva. So Fabicon is really just a logo that you have seen on a website. The logo is usually going to be displayed on the browser tab. For example, this is the Fabicon of Canva. And as you can see, uh, this is the Fabicon. This is also a Fabicon and pretty much every website will have that icon next to it. So uh, the first thing that you need to do to create a Fabicon in Canva is that you have to open a template that is square it could be an instagram post template which in this case has 10 xpp by 10 xpp resolution but in my opinion that is a bit too big so i'm going to be using something that's smaller because for a website we want to use asset that is optimized and also not unnecessarily too big so i'm going to resize this design to the size of logo logo in canva is 500 by 500 pixels click on it and i'm going to resize this design now Canva will provide a preview for me, which is pretty much unnecessary because this is empty. But I'm going to click resize the design and just wait until it created a new template document for me. So here you can start building your own logo. You could use uh, every features in Canva, like there is an element, there is also pictures, uh, there are also some icons that could you could uh, insert into the document to create your logo or to create your favicon but in this case just to save time i'm going to be using logo from the templates i have in canva let's use this logo i think it looks really good and after that you can resize the logo if you want you can make it bigger or smaller it's totally up to you and after that you can click share click download and make sure to select the file type as png this is actually not the most common format for favicon favicon is usually .ico but png should do and after that if you are really really into optimizing the speed of your website then you might want to reduce the quality of the uh, favicon to 250 pixels which i think is good enough even for a retina display like an ipad or iphone and after that i do recommend enabling compress the file size to uh, to make it more smaller and after that uh since the logo look like this i don't want to have this empty line uh, sorry empty white background uh, i don't want that to, to be visible so i'm going to be enabling the option transparent background this is optional it really depends on what you are trying to build for example if you're using this logo the, uh, the one that is actually just inverted from this one i'm not going to enable transparent background for that because uh, i think that that background is very important to make the logo visible so anyway when you're done you can click download and it will be downloaded to your computer and after that you can upload the file to your website as a favicon so this is the one that we just created of course it looks blurry because the actual resolution was only 100 sorry 250 pixel and i think this is good enough because at, at the end of the day we want to make something uh, like this into this size so there is no problem of actually using lower quality or lo lower resolution graphic anyway i hope you find this video to be helpful and i'll see you on the next video